Hello, this is Sam out here, and welcome back to another Uchu Sentai Q Ninja review. Today, we'll be taking a look at Q Voyager 06 Hebetsukai Voyager with the Hebetsukai Q Tama. This, of course, belongs to Hebetsukai Silver. Now, it, this did retail for 2200 yen at the Japanese retail market. It was released February 2017, and for whatever reason, this along with all three other separately sold Voyagers became hard to find for various reasons. I think a lot of it attributes to the fact they come with the transformation Kyutamas, they aren't very expensive, and people have decided to pick up four of them to put on Shishi Voyagers so that their limbs are all matching. Anyways, it's been kind of a tricky situation to get these, so that's why we're starting with Hibetsukai, because it's the first one I got. Without further ado, let's take a look at the Hibetsukai Voyager. Here is the Hibetsukai Voyager and Hibetsukai Kyutama. Taking a look at the Kyutama itself, we'll take a look at the sound effects in a bit, but as you can see, it is number 06. It has a nice little snake picture. You can actually kind of see the hidden image inside from this side. Mal will slide it, and bam. Now you've got a nice snake constellation type thing. Looks really cool. Uh, the bottom part is a dark gray. I don't know why. I don't know why this is different on, like, everything. Like, there's the the Centaurus Kyutama comes with the magazine, comes unassembled, and this part is clear. The ones with the Deluxe uh, Kurino, they're silver. The ones with the Changer and Belt are black. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these. That This is a whole story in and of itself. Let's talk about the actual Voyager. Now, what's cool about Hibetsukai, as well as Tenbin, we'll take a look at Tenbin in another video. Hibetsukai has a ship mode and a humanoid mode. So he actually has two modes in addition to his limb forms. So this is the uh, ship mode, this is how Hibetsukai launches. As you can see it's a giant snake, which looks really, really cool. Um, once again, mismatched paint. Uh, like there's paint here, and here, and, and not here. It's kind of strange. Uh, this was on uh, Shishi Voyager as well. Hope that all means something someday. Um, but as you can see, he's got nice snake jaw parts here. Um, you can see the humanoid head here, unfortunately, but oh well. Um, so we'll just plug the Kyutama uh, in like this. And now we can transform him into his humanoid mode. So you want to flip the head up, bring this whole... Uh, un untab the legs, bring this whole section up into place. Straighten the legs out now. Bring this, split and rotate down, and... There is the Hibetsukai Voyager in its more common humanoid state. If I could actually see it on camera, we will need to adjust the angle. Yes, Hibetsukai Voyager becomes a fairly large robot. Uh, in fact, here he is next to a 5-inch Power Ranger figure. Um, a lot larger than I actually thought he would be, considering all the other uh, Voyagers are fairly small. Um, but Hibetsukai here is really cool. Now, there is no uh, neck articulation, but there is full universal jointed shoulders elbows, universal joint hips, ratcheted knees, and an ankle tilt. Like, that's pretty impressive for a Sentai Mecha. Um, Q Ranger has been about defying the traditions of past Super Sentai series. Having a fully articulated robot like this is betraying all those traditions, and I love it. I think this is great. I think overall, as long as it's still solid, it's allowed to have articulation. And this die is definitely solid. Um, looks really cool. Now, in terms of transforming it into its limb modes, um, it's, it's not too different from being in the spaceship mode, uh, ironically. So, for the arm transformation, uh, basically you put it back the way we had it for ship mode. Um, with the legs tabbed in here, like this. Uh, that one didn't tab in, tab like that. Bring this up, bring these around, clip them together. Just love all the little paint details on these two, just... And then uh, turn this this way for one arm, turn it around this way for the other arm. For the leg transformation, you fold this around this way, you bring this all the way back. I usually like to do it like this. Untab the legs, fold them up completely, and there's your leg mode for either side. Basically, that's it. Um, so we'll take a look at combining with Kirino now. Um, but we'll start with the arm mode. So just remember that when you are putting into leg mode, it's not just that. Uh, you need to actually untab them. That is an important step. 
So let's bring in Kirino and swap in the Hibet Sky Voyager. All right, time to combine the Hibet Sky Voyager with Kirino. So to start off, we're gonna replace the arm here. I'm just gonna take good old Hammy off of here. Chameleon Green gets to go up to the side. And we shall put in the Hibet Sky Voyager as an arm. I think it works best as an arm because it gets a giant snake head, which also in the show can extend out like a snake. It's pretty cool. So here we go. So basically, it is an image of Hibet Sky Silver in the cockpit. Um, now let's switch it to a leg, just to show that off, which is so simple and quick. It makes Combiner Wars jealous. And we'll slip this here. And then we'll just put Champ up here as an arm. And put him as a leg. It works pretty good as a leg, too. Um, I think Hibet Sky is one of those few Q-Tama, or Q, uh, Q Voyagers that actually can work as either or. Let's hit the button. So you get the vague outline of what that image looks like. Overall, I think Hibet Sky Voyager is one of those few Q Voyagers that works in multiple modes. Um, instead of just being and looking good as an arm or looking good as a leg, he looks good as both. Like he just kind of just kind of works. That's pretty much all there is to it. Naturally, the Hibet Sky Q-Tama does work within the Seiza Blaster. It makes similar sound effects to the other Q-Tama, so I didn't want to do it at the beginning of the video. I like to do it at the end. So let's take a look at the Hibet Sky Q-Tama. So we got that, and we got the Save the Go. And then the Attack. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the Save the Docking and the Galaxy sounds are the same. Um, as for all of them. But uh, there's the Hibet Sky Kyotama. So overall, I would recommend Hibet Sky Voyager. I think it's really cool. Some may prefer Tenben Voyager, and that may just be due to Tenben Gold's overwhelming popularity. But I think uh, Naga is an interesting character. Uh, Hibet Sky Silver is a cool design. And the Hibet Sky Voyager has a lot of great things going for it. I love the giant snake head. I just really like the giant snake head mode. Really cool stuff. That pretty much does it for this review. Be sure to hit the like button to make sure to support my Q-Ranger reviews in order for them to keep going. Hit the subscribe button to see more Power Rangers and Super Sentai reviews from this channel. And hit the little bell if you want to get a notification every time a video is uploaded. Be sure to check out the Soundcast every Friday where I've been talking about Q-Ranger lately. And also be sure to comment below and tell me what you think about Q-Ranger's mecha line. Till next time, this is Sanat saying goodbye.